क्या है टेंशन स्क्रीन या 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 किन ओके सो यू स्टेड द सेम द इवनिंग राइट या या ओके लेट्स गो थ्रू यू आर ब्लैक आई एम ब्लैक आई एम ब्लैक हम्म आई सी ऑलरेडी अ बिट ऑफ एन इंबैलेंस सो normally i would maybe do if you want to play both three four you could go for them on the two different sides this way you are very low on one direction okay yeah. so i do this or maybe one of them a four four and that's my preference okay approach is good Okay. Ah. Okay. So that's wrong. Yeah, so I was they, stumped by that. I didn't know what to do for that. Okay. So there are three normal Jose keys over here. So the way options are: take the three three, jump out, or do a double approach, or maybe a low and high approach. These are your four options. This really is not a good take in any way. So I will show you the sequences for each of them. So this is the most popular one. Since AI has come, taking three three has become very popular. So this is the normal way you go into a three three. Okay. Now white has two popular responses. See that want to make sure you don't get too big of a. Corner. So there are the two ways I can block you. Correct. So first is so now, which one of these whites do you take? So you have to imagine in which direction do you want some influence. Do you want a wall this way, in which case you sort of have influence in this area. Uh huh. or the second way is you can make your if you make a wall this way then you get influence out in this area so which Correct. one do you prefer or shivam uh but it will be what he prefers though right because no. he's the one that makes that wall so he has played a 3 3 but now you get to decide which way do you want to play first if you As I'll choose sequences. So if you decide this, no, no, no. I mean, I'm black though, right? Oh, you are black. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So white gets to decide which direction he wants to get influence in. Yeah. Okay. So this is the usual sequence. Oh. Now I'll show you a uh, error that a lot of DDKs make in this process. So over here, they think that this is a normal cheating invasion. Why shouldn't I play like this? And they would expect a normal yeah. sequence like this. But this is Correct. a mistake because oh. of extra stone at our foot. This sequence does not work. It doesn't work for white, right? For white. Oh, okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. okay. So now this is a good thing to learn. If in this sequence. White has hunted over here. How can black punish this wrong move? Black has to extend downward. Okay. And now white is screwed. Okay. Now, can you, now can you tell me what are the possible moves that white has? Well, white can close at uh, P four, right? P four. What else can white do? Well, maybe survive. I don't know. Uh, no, white is on the outside, so surviving is not really a problem for him. Black is on the inside, so he will want to try and survive. Okay. So um, the other thing that white may want to do is play up two. So this way, he can make sure that black doesn't get out. Correct. So if white blocks over here, black cuts. Cuts. Now I can see that these three of the stones are sort of isolated. 
what can he can do over here? He can run out. Now this what provides the Q five that is the cut point. If let's say white does something else, black can cut here, and these three stones are under the capture. Correct. So white may want to defend this. Now black has a golden opportunity to get a huge corner. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Now if white has seen this, he black may cut. White will defend that. In which case, now black can easily connect to without a stone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's so why, you, in the Joseph, the, if white plays four, black has to extend down. Okay. So okay. The, normal Joseph is for white to extend, black will try to connect underneath, and then black jumps. So this is the uh -oh. end of the Joseph. Okay, okay. And over here, white has some influence on this side, like this. Yeah. And black has a pretty nice corner. So not too much. Black has about 10 points under him. Yeah. Now, what if... So, what if white already maybe had a stone over there? So white would like a wall along the Q column. So in this uh -huh. case, he would want to play in the direction. Okay. So black would try to make sure he does not get cut off. Um, white extends and black defends his corner. And it is a good idea for white to make sure he has no open cutting corner. So this is the end of this Josaki. If white chooses the other direction to block the three, three stone in. Uh, wh why did you play at six? Or that uh, P7? How does that help? So if white does something else, black can just cut here. And now his R8 stone is sort of isolated. So if white wants to block that, now black can cover this or pincer it, do whatever. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. If white does this, then these are sort of loosely connected. Hmm. Yeah. If black tries to do that, this is not cuttable. And this is also not really cuttable. So this is a very basic Q3 Joseki. If okay. black jumps in the corner after pincer, these are the two choices white usually buys. Either block on this side or block on this side. Okay. So this was among the first five or six Josekis that I had learned when I was a 20k master. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, what other variations did I mention? Okay, so suppose white has okay, suppose black has some friends over here. Now what black can do is he can try to run out. Correct. So the normal basic would be white wants to keep a bit of corners, black wants to keep white low. And white wants to make sure that he does not get too surrounded. Now white will try to come out and black blocks that. So this is the end of another Joseph. Over here, black has got an influence and white can sort of live in the bottom. Now at a later stage, there is some Miai. Uh, do you know the meaning of Miai? So, uh, no. What, what, what is it that you said? Miai, M I A I. So that means. Uh, so later on, black can go after the three three also, but if black does that, white has the option to go after this cutting point. So Miai usually means if I take this, you take that. Okay. Okay. So now, after some sequence in the game, black says now I want to corner. 
So I will say you take the corner and I will somehow cut you over here. If black oh. is here, now black has a lot of cutting points. Yeah. If black is here, now black gets cut in a pretty major way. Okay. So me I one and two are me I. Okay. So this is the other popular Jose key. This is only really if you want influence towards the center. Okay. And when when would you like influence in the center? So uh, if you have a bunch of tones like these. Now all of these could work together, and you could maybe okay. fight to get this area towards yourself. Yeah. Hmm. And the other fighty variation is bubble approach. So hmm. now over here, it's usually like white will make sure that the single stone is being beat upon three to one. Black will try to escape, and white will do other stuff. So things like this will happen. Okay. So you, yeah, so a general rule you could say is don't fight somebody stronger than you. Uh -huh. so yeah. you yeah, you really don't want this unless you have friends in this area. So you can concentrate on that fight, you are worrying that your old new stone will become too weak. Okay. So yeah, we have discussed one, two, and three. These are, these are white three possible options to proceed. Now let's see what you did. Da, da, okay, that is very passive. As okay, I'll focus on what black can do. Okay, that's good. Okay, so here you see black have now two weak groups. They have been disconnected. So now white has cut you and now you have to decide which one do you want to save. Correct. So how could that have been avoided? So as long as there's only a single stone somewhere, it is not too bad to sacrifice it for the greater good. So okay. as, you keep, as you keep getting stronger, there's something that you learn. What is okay to sacrifice? It will pain you, but eventually you want to be half a point ahead of your opponent. Doesn't okay. matter what you do in the process. Okay. So over here, mm. maybe do that. Okay. And to make sure that you can't run away, White would have to waste one more move. So now he has oh. just spent five moves to capture your one stone. Oh, yeah. So this is how you force an opponent to be inefficient. Oh, okay, nice. Now you have made made both your groups heavy. There are at least two stones over here. Now losing them each will be more painful. Correct, correct. Okay, this is fine. Like over here, if White wanted to, he could have kept pushing, and you'd have been gifting him the fourth line territory. Uh, do, you, do you know what the phrase for fourth line? Fourth the, line the is called, so fourth line is called the line of victory. Fourth line is called line of victory. Yeah. yeah. If the opponent can make sure that he keeps pushing along the fourth line. He will probably win. But how would I have stopped his onslaught then? Uh, don't force him to keep going in that direction. <laughs> okay. Okay. I wasn't sure. Like I was thinking of placing it at like Q14, but then I wasn't sure what to do after that. Uh, Q14, then he could have done this, and now he has a nice base and a nice area. What I would have chosen was maybe a low approach. Now you are threatening to go under him also. Uh -huh. So he would still have to defend. And he can't really expand anymore. If you had played high, now he can threaten, if you do something else, he can threaten to go, to go under you. 
So your moves force the other person to do something. So in this case, white could have happily kept crawling on the fourth line. I think okay. he does later on. Okay, we'll see that. Okay, now white is making sure your two stones are in trouble. Mm. So now see, fourth line of the line of victory. Now over here, he's on the fifth line. He is very, very happy now. You're not even trying to save these two phones. Okay. Uh huh. Not bad. The second line is called the line of defeat. Okay. So if you keep calling on the second line, White is very happy. He's getting a giant wall, and all White would like is to maybe play something like this. So now he probably has all of this under him. Yeah. Okay, this is still Josiki, so it's okay. Uh, that was not needed at all. Oh, I thought he would be able to cut and. Uh, that's right. You can do is this. Okay. Out of that, uh, do you know Sente and Gote? I, I yeah, I'm familiar with the drums, not very well, but yeah, sort of. Okay, Sente means is... uh, keeping the initiative, oh. and Gote means using the initiative. Yeah. So if yeah, you look I'll... at this sequence, you push, oh. he blocks, and then you defend. And now he has the choice to do whatever he wants now. He doesn't really need to defend this because there's nothing dying if he doesn't. So now you have lost that one, the initiative. Now White can do whatever he wants at this point. Yeah, now I remember you had uh, taught me about uh, Gote last time. Yeah. yeah. So what is your other option here? If you just go down. Uh -huh. Now it is up to White if he wants to block you or not. If he blocks okay. you, you still have Sente. You can control where your next move, next move goes. And if White does something else, this is always open to you. I, you, you play on the you first line. So this is called a monkey jump. Okay. So this is like an in-game technique. Reduces a little bit because there's no way for white comfortably prevent one and three from. Yeah. So this is what you would do near the end game when you want to destroy his territory by playing under him. Oh. So monkey jumps are usually worth about eight to ten points. Okay. Uh, do, you, do you know about the sight senses? Do I know about the sight senses? Oh, senses library. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So senses library is a very good wiki about a lot of go topics. So you can just do senses and then type the type in a topic. So sense monkey jump. This will show you all the variations of, of what you can do. Uh -huh. Another very good place to go is the starting points page on Tensei. So this has important things like pages for beginners. This will have your study section, it will have your go proverbs, which you should always keep in mind. Basic shapes and how you should proceed. Yeah, I should check that out. Yeah, so that was another thing that I used to go to every day while I was the DDK. Okay. Yeah, the beginner study section is very detailed. Yeah, yeah, a lot of info given in it. So that's not so. Since you didn't go under him, now he's coming under you. But that's a goody move for him, right? Uh, he. No, actually, it is not goody for anyone. So, if what if he doesn't respond, what will be another that? Suppose he didn't respond here, and you take this. So if he responds here, you capture him. All you got was two points, 
in Gote. Now he can do what he wants. Okay. So he has taken the fourth line. Make sure you get it there. So did you have a plan behind this move? Uh, I just want my string to survive. Nice. So this is already outside and it has a lot of space towards the outside. That's not going to die no matter what. So but will die as what will die with these two stones inside because they have nowhere to run to. Uh -huh. Over here you can play anything in this area and you can expand this whole shape. And there's nothing over here that can be cut either. So there was no danger of you of this shape dying better. Okay. Now he takes a big point in the corner. Uh, that is no, 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 not that. If you are at four four, yes. This point no. What normally you would like to do is something like this. Okay. Attached to him, he'll do this. Now you have a couple of choices. I will make sure that you have the corner like this. So now you have this much under you. Or your other choice would be doing this. So now you are probably trying to take something over here. So, so, so under what conditions should I place O eighty? Or like, like I've heard of this term pincer, so that's why I'm not quite so, sure to respond. So let's say you do not respond to this at all. Suppose you play somewhere else. Now why it could do something like this? Now you are double pincer. You have stones on both of your sides. Uh huh. Now, what are your possible avenues of getting out? You can either attach to him and try to expand out. You could try to bump him and make sure that you have the corners. S16 might be better for that. Which one would be better? Uh, not 16. Uh, uh, even this. Yes. If you want to keep the corner and live in the corner, I think S16 might be better than R16. Uh, but because of this closer stone, so something like this could happen. That, that, that. Uh, no, can't work. Let's use this. Oh, no, it's not used. Yeah, this is also good. <coughs> S7. Not not S sorry, not S one. S eight is better than S7. Yeah. So black does live, but white gets the outside. So I I, I should I mean I was trying to respond to that pincer, but you're telling me not to place it O18. Uh what yeah. if like O17 is preferable, is it? Instead of O18, I mean. So when somebody approaches your three four stone, you you usually attach to him. Okay, usually. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, but that signifies I'm trying to make uh, like some significant dead tree on the left left top. Yeah, now that depends on what he does next. If he wants the corner, he could just try to push in. Okay. Or in this case, you can see that he's trying to build his right side, so he will probably do this. In which case you will try to build your corners. Okay. Or if you, or if you want to build the top side, you can do this because you already have something like a wall over here. So maybe uh -huh. another couple of stones over here, and now you have potential for a big area. Okay. So you normally never want to play on the second line. Okay. 
How do you delete a stone? Stone. Stone. Is there such an option? I don't know. Okay. okay I can draw things. Never mind. So when do you do that kind of a shape? When you're at four four, then you play that kind of a nice move. Oh, okay, okay, so okay, okay. what you did was from the three four stone you okay. played the nice move. Okay. I've oh, seen people see play that on the left hand side, the one which we showed with white. Uh, that doesn't work when I play from a 3 5 to a 3 4 position. And that's not a Joseki. So the usual. Can, but it, it, it's apparently older Joseki. I have not seen this. So no, not, 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 not at the top point, but yeah, it's something like uh, P4. P4 is standard. So like something like this? Good. Yeah, something like this would be so standard. P4, P4. This is yeah. Shusaku's Yeah, this is an old Joseki. This is a bit newer. This is also acceptable. Yeah, but basically the point is the same, which is that you are giving white the side and you are keeping the other side. And this, this is the most aggressive This is standard. So as I said, white will almost always hang around this. Black has two choices. Either take the corners or extend. Correct. White extends, black keeps his corners, white makes a base, and black makes a base. So this is the end of this corner Joseki. Nice. Both sides are now settled. They both have bases and they're settled. And how does the four foot Joseki work? You must have seen this one. Ah, oh, that's the one, yeah, that's the one I've seen. Yeah. So white has a base and is settled, black has a base and he's settled. So now you can go and do other stuff. So you normally don't want to play away from a Joseki till you are settled. Unless you have some grand plan. <laughs> or unless you are AI. Okay, white second to cut. Good. Mm, this, I fail to see any reason with this. Okay, now black is trying to cut. This will, do you have a plan with this? Sorry, did I? Do you have a plan with this? Uh, well, I was, well, just, I was trying just trying to cut. I am aware that like there's some. Uh, places, places to cut over there, there, but I wasn't really sure. I, I wasn't, I wasn't sure, sure what to do with it. Okay, have you that seen? That would cause a ladder, though, right? Yeah, no, not quite. The network's okay. Yeah, so that's what I'm getting to. So you have a shape here. Uh, uh, and then you have something with three over here. Wait. And let's say black has a ladder breaker on both sides. Now, which one of these will work for black? The one on the right. So if white does this, the ladder goes up and black gets out. Now, why will this not work? Black will try to get out and white will net it. Uh... So now black can't escape. So if you ever see three stones in a row, there's always a danger of you getting netted. And a ladder will not even start. Uh, also, also no weak no net effect. That's also a requirement for that. So yeah, yeah this yeah, is yeah. another sh yeah, this is another shape for the net. White could have done this and then trapped you, or he could do this. 
you have to run downstairs, you are still netted. Ah, correct, right? I've never seen that net before. I've only seen like one or two nets. Yeah, this one doesn't always work. I think in this situation also, this particular net doesn't work, which is why white is ended. But the point is just that white is very confident in killing these two guys. So it's yeah. very close to you. And you are the reason why white is actually to prevent the gun. Yeah, and you are playing inside white's area, so he's even more confident because he has a lot of strength nearby. Oh, uh, okay. So now when you're trying to run away, run away faster. So white is making sure that you cannot get, get any shape. Any that shape, shape exactly. Really uh, have you seen any of the Dishon Shape lectures that I have put on the YouTube. I've heard of it. Okay. Yeah. So one popular thing that Dishon does is, oops, he makes a board like this with black stone roller on the edge, uh -huh. and now white will be played by some beginner, maybe a 15 Q or something. White's only mission is to make a living shape inside. So white will try to live and black will keep making sure that he gets oh, oh. hit. So this is an exercise that can be done between players. That is just to practice if they have understood what is good shape. Oh, nice. Okay, so, <laughs> so everything would be dead. Again, like this. These three stones are as good as dead. You want to live with something that can get away. Play fast. Oh. So over here, we are trying to get away faster now. So, as I said, that you will have to learn about what to sacrifice. Some things die so that some things may live. Now he already he seemed to have so such a so large so territory at the bottom, so I was trying my best. Oh, yeah. yes, so over here, you're not, you're not trying to win. You are just trying to play good. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So even here, empty triangle. Empty triangle. So what would be a better shape over here? Maybe something like this. Oh, so if you, watch, if you watch the shape lectures, this is considered very good shape. Correct. Over here, you could instead try to build some of your top area. So, here, white will probably do something like that, and then you can try to make the top. Okay. Since you bumped him, now you are helping white build up his side. So, what you just did is now he has this, and he has a potential on this area now. He has given you the corner in exchange for maybe this whole area. Correct. Now he's taking even more of your corner. Uh, that is a mistake. You should just have kept pushing him. Keep taking his area. This will never survive. Actually, yeah. Ah, over here you had a trap. Had you played this, these four had. Oh, uh, oh, no, 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 no,